Gemini. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina, your host. This is your weekly tarot reading. Um, happy birthday, by the way, to my Geminis out there. So let's see, we're going to take a look at the recent past, current situation, near future, and then we will close off your reading by pulling a few cards to get some advice from the universe. Now, I'm not sure if you hear some background noise. There is a party outside. It's nice weather here in New York City. That's where I'm located. And, you know, some people are enjoying the weather. Others are doing tarot readings. Um, you already know which group I'm a part of. All right, Gemini, um, hope you guys are doing fantastic. And I hope your wishes come true this birthday season. All right, let's give these a few shuffles and let's see what's happening for you. We're gonna stop it right here. We're also entering eclipse season. June 10th is a solar eclipse in Gemini. So I know we're all kind of going through changes. There's ups and downs and wow. And as we say that, we get some powerful cards in your reading. We have three major arcana that come out immediately on your spread. Recent past, you have the chariot. You've got the fool here. You also have the tower here. So we are obviously moving on to new things. Out with the old, in with the new here. The chariot, you could really have a specific goal in mind, but this is you, I feel like, getting your power back, you choosing to look forward instead of looking back. That's definitely a dominant energy this week. You know, and the chariot is also speaks of like, you know, probably all of us, let's be honest, especially lately, these are, there's a lot of movement with the planets. Um, the astrology is crazy these few years. So collectively and individually, we're going through a lot of changes. What I was going to say is with the chariot, you know, there was probably, we could, you know, you could have probably been, you, you could have felt like you were being pulled in different directions before, but I feel like you were able to get yourself into alignment because this week, the current situation is the Page of Cups, is the Fool, and is the beautiful Ace of Cups. This is really beautiful energy. Like there could be a new relationship here, a new love interest, just something in your heart, right? Or a new way to express your emotions, a new way to show love, right? The Ace of Cups is a cup of self-love as well. You know, the Two of Cups is partnership. Ace is about you, you, how you let the emotions flow, how you approach your emotions. And this is like a new beginning for you. The Fool is in the center here. That definitely speaks of obvious new beginnings. But I just feel like you're ready to embark on a new journey here. Um, I think emotionally speaking with the Page of Cups, I feel like your your heart is open this week, right? Um, and you're definitely embracing something new here, no doubt. But in the near future, you have the Tower here, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. You know, the Tower is under the Page of Cups. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with a water sign, um, and there could be a sudden change, a sudden shift. And I see the Five of Swords in the Tower. There could definitely be like a blowout fight here. Um, with the Tower, I always say it's kind of long overdue. It's kind of divine intervention here. But it can be hostility. You know, the Tower is ruled by Mars. You know, Mars is an aggressive, action-oriented planet. But I feel a little bit of hostility. You know, the Knight of Cups is here. It's under the Fool. So obviously your heart and your emotions are playing a really dominant role this week. There's, there are big sweeping changes that are coming about. Um, this week sees you really open-hearted. I feel like it feels super positive. But then next week, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not a blowout fight with somebody. This could be with yourself and you're conflicted about like massive change here, right? Maybe you're thinking about your foundations. Maybe you're thinking about strengthening them. Maybe you're thinking about wiping something out so that you can create some space to put something new there, right? So all of these energies are present this week, but this is definitely about beginnings, no doubt. Um, let me go in and clarify all of these energies for you, Gemini. The lovers is at the bottom. So, all right, let's clarify these energies for Gemini. June 7th to the 13th. Right smack in eclipse season. Wow, I see the Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles and Judgment. Yeah, I mean, you could be choosing yourself difficult, difficult. Well, you've known you've had to make this judgment call for a while, right? Um, and it's like, it's to the point where it almost cannot be ignored anymore, you know? Um, you might want like sweeping massive transformation in certain areas of your life, as I feel like we all do these days. Um, all right, 
clarify these energies for Gemini. Um, I know you hear those people. Man, they're making me want to, um, you know, be invited maybe. Um, they are my neighbors. <laughs> so let's see. Clarify. All right, let's stop here. Yeah, King of Swords is at the bottom. That's like using your experience, using your sharp intellect. I mean, you're Gemini. You've got power of the mind naturally. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely leaving a situation behind. Um, Ace of Swords is here. The lovers came out. The lovers came out. Recent past clarifying the chariot is the seven of swords. So it just really feels like, um, look at the, look at the seven of swords, you know, and even with the chariot, you're on the move here, right? Whether it's energetically, it could really be physically, like you could really be moving on to a different situation, but the seven of swords is like, Hey, maybe somebody was kind of shady in the past. That could be present too. For me, I just feel like you're ready to kind of cut your losses and keep it moving. You're still kind of looking back. You're still kind of looking back, but you are in the energy of like, you're hungry for something new now. It's just that simple, right? Like you, you're just hungry for something new. Current situation, you got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. I mean, there's, you know, even the Emperor speaks of building things and shaping them, right? Um, so you got the Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. I feel like you put in a lot of work into something that matters deep in your heart. You're committed. You're very committed. You're very loyal. You're even willing to make sacrifices, but this is a very hard working energy here this week. And it's attached to the page of cups. You know, the page of cups is about, um, keeping an open heart. It's an innocent energy and it's a bit naive when it comes to the emotions, but that's what allows them to be very trusting. That's what allows us to not be jaded by our past experiences and to give new chances at beginning without defining them with things that happened with other people, other situations in the past. So that's the beauty of the Page of Cups. The downside of it is that they don't have the experience to maybe like see certain things until it takes a little bit longer for it to be more obvious, right? Um, the Ace of Swords is here with the Fool. I, I think you're pretty clear. While you might experience inner conflict because change is always uncomfortable, even if you're a mutable sign like Gemini, I'm a Pisces. So change can be uncomfortable, but I feel like at this point, you're damn clear. You're ready, you're very clear. You're just, you're ready to embrace new beginnings. There could be a very specific thing. It could be a general feeling here, but I think the clarity has come through, no doubt. Like, you're just like, if you debated before, if you were looking for a solution before, if you were trying to see something clearly before, it's here now. And then clarifying the Ace of Cups is the Emperor, you know, um, Maybe this is with an Aries. Maybe you have a new beginning here with an Aries, right? Um, but I feel really with that Ace of Cups and the Emperor, a conquering energy. I feel like you wanna conquer your emotions. Just like in the recent past with the Chariot, I think you got to this place where you're able to balance your emotions and you weren't being pulled in different directions. But I feel like you wanna establish new foundations. You certainly want strong boundaries with the Emperor here but it's about law and order, rules, structure, and making sure things are safe, sound, stable, protecting yourself. This is for me protecting your heart in a lot of ways with that Ace of Cups and the Emperor. So it just, it feels that way. And you're, you're in this like warrior energy, just like the chariot, right? This is like ready for battle, right? Both of these are dressed in armor. So I just feel like you're in this place again, I think the hunger for something better is overpowering whatever was maybe hindering you right so that's what it feels like now near future clarifying the tower you got the lovers this is a sudden shakeup in a partnership no doubt i mean it could push you in a whole new direction whatever it is it could shake you up it could surprise you it could literally i don't see it really shaking the ground underneath you though for some reason no other cards are kind of showing that energy so i really feel like it almost propels you like i feel like it just propels you to just be like fine then since this is destroyed since this is nothing you've got nothing to lose and now you're like then i'm gonna follow my heart i've been thinking about it anyway this is something that you've been like being pulled and drawn to right that's the lovers you're at a crossroads you got a big personal choice to make no doubt in a relationship here a lot of love a lot of love 
but the tower indicates that something was built on a weak foundation. Maybe there was truths kept out, right? You know, um, and the lovers is like, hey, I'm going to go in this direction now. You were on one path, boom, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden now you're deviating paths, right? You got the King of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Cups here. It's under the Fool. It's under the Ace of Swords. So this is really beautiful energy. I feel like you're thinking very clear about taking on a new beginning. Now you have the Five of Swords with the Ten of Cups. So you could be fighting with a loved one. Maybe somebody in your home here, especially with that Ten of Cups. But there is a conflict energy. It's an argument type energy. It's an energy of kind of like winning at any cost. Um, and these are the kind of fights where really nobody walks away feeling like they won, right? But sometimes, sadly, it does take that sometimes, right? Unfortunately, to make those breakthroughs. Like you get the breakdown and then you get the breakthrough. And so I see the breakdown and you know, inevitably the breakthrough comes. But all right, let us pull a couple of cards, get some advice from the universe. Um, and we'll close off your reading with that. So what is the best advice for Gemini this week? June 7th to the 13th as the sun shines on you. I'll pull two cards. All right. Best advice for a Gemini. Taking it. Strength is at the bottom. Who came out? The King of Swords. He was trying to say something before. Strength is at the bottom. If somebody comes to you hot and heavy, this is the advice is take the higher road. This is also about loving yourself, being gentle with yourself, the parts of yourself that we don't like. That is really what strength is. King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. All right. This says, King of Swords says, use your experience when it comes to making decisions. That's what the King of Swords says. So look back at your life, make connections, and take that into consideration. This is intellectually strong. This is the power of the mind, as we were saying before. And you have the Ace of Swords here. Ten of Pentacles is a card of your investments paying off in the long run from your relationships, from your daily habits, which over time means your health. So your investments with money. So this is a card of family. So it's, it's about thinking about your investments in the big picture, but this says that it's available for you. So I'll leave it there for you. Um, all right, Gemini, again, happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next week for my weekly tarot.